Hi everyone. This is the time of the year when we would normally welcome guests, alumni, parents, students and colleagues to Manchester Cathedral to offer a service of thanksgiving for the gift of Humphrey Cheatham and for the work of our foundation. I always like to extend the warmest of welcomes to our alumni. They come back to join us on these occasions, especially Quad Tuum Tene, affectionately known to us all as QTT, our alumni who span back over 60 years. Of course, we would also welcome our current parents and our friends of Cheatham's. I really do hope this message reaches you all at some point, because thanks to the far-sightedness of our foundation, we're now all able to share in that uniting love of music together. Even at times like this, to be able to share an online sick form chamber concert last Thursday was so very, very special. Wasn't it Beethoven who said, music is the electric soil in which our spirit lives, thinks and invents. This year, more than ever, Founders Day for me is all about connection. We recall and connect with our old boys of the 30s and 40s and our former pupils of the school who, remembering the benefits they themselves received, now support our students of today. As musicians, we are well used to connecting. We connect with the composer. We connect with our audience. We connect with each other. We connect with a wider local and global community. But we also are able to connect with something so much bigger than ourselves. Music opens the doors to a world of spiritual awe and wonder. As Chet's alumni and great friend Stephen Huff said in his book, Rough Ideas, there can be no doubt that music adds a further dimension to the communicative power of words. Perhaps that's what led the minor canon at the cathedral to quote St. Augustine when he congratulated Cheatham's chorale after they sang at Evensong a few weeks ago. He reminded us that to sing is to pray twice. How right he was. Gareth Malone actually said at this year's Music Ed Expo that singing in schools engages. It oils the wheels of the school. It connects. It most certainly does. And you know that we believe that singing should be central to every school. It certainly is central to every musician at Cheatham's. You know I often say that living and working with you all at Chet's is like having my very own personal real-life Spotify. Think of the music, the repertoire I hear in a working week, in a term, in a year. Even when the inspectors called earlier this term, we didn't press the pause button for a moment. With the highest possible judgments of excellent for students' academic and other achievements, and for students' personal development, the report makes for really enjoyable reading. But, and the students hear me say this so much, what does such a judgment mean for the people that matter the most? Our students. Of course, it's heartening to read, and I quote, that the standards of musicianship achieved by our students is truly exceptional and very wide ranging. But we sort of knew that. But we most certainly can be proud of the fact that our school is considered such a world renowned route of excellence to the creative industry. And I know the school will also continue to grow as a shining example of social mobility, inclusivity, diversity, and internationalism. At the same time, Cheatham's will do all in its power to ensure our students are not sacrificed on the altar of music when aiming for such excellence. Cheatham's challenges that toxic environment in a world where young people already feel the constant need to impress. We want others, our students, to live their lives impressing themselves with a strong set of personal values and knowing right from wrong. But Cheatham's must also support our students in their ambitions to become responsible global musicians and global citizens with the skills they need to mark them, make their mark on a changing world and a changing industry. So you can imagine how thrilled I was to read that our students' social development, their ability to collaborate with others, their cultural understanding, were also judged to be excellent by the inspectors. 
Our young musicians give us so much pleasure through their performances and just being them. As Tom Redmond said to us at the start of this dreadful time, hashtag Beachettes. I know our students will continue to do just that into their adult lives and into their professional careers. When I move to the lectern in the cathedral and speak like this on Founders Day, I'm very much aware that I stand, and only I stand, in the way between you and your Easter holiday. This year, our holiday is going to be strange to say the least, but do take time for yourselves. Get away from the screen and rest. Your reaction to our new way of learning and communicating together has been staggering, but we continue to remain connected at all times. So thank you, but now take time to replenish the well. I've added a hymn at the end so that we, we would have sung this at the cathedral. It's a great arrangement with brass fanfares, organ and percussion. But before I go, I can't help wondering whether Humphrey Cheatham would consider his good and lawful money of England well spent. I wonder what he would have thought about Chet's now, our school as it is today. Well, I can't resist quoting the inspection for one last time. It reads, There is absolutely no doubt that Cheatham's offers its students excellent opportunities to develop musically, academically and personally, producing musicians of the very highest calibre, who are extremely well equipped for their future education and musical careers. As I say so often in our students' reports, I can ask no more. Awesome. Have the most joyous Easter.